The wonderful thing about the whole Marty gambling experience for, for, uh, for Alan was it was really a low pressure, no pressure environment where Alan could come, hang around the row, meet people, and, and see how the business worked, you know. I think one of the, you know, one of the, certainly the, the really solidifying things for Alan Jackson was when he bonded with Keith Stegall, because uh, Keith, in my opinion, is one of the premier song people in this town. I remember thinking one day when I walked in there and I saw him standing around in there like he was a fixture every day, I hope he's patient enough to wait this out, you know, just if you, because the patience part is, is what you gotta have to wait till the shot comes along. Coming up, Alan puts his faith and his music on a new label when CMT Showcase returns. After years of struggling to break into Nashville's music scene, Alan Jackson was finally making headway. With the help of manager Marty Gamblin, he had established important music row relationships, including one with producer Keith Stiegel. And in 1989, Arista Records made Alan a promising offer.